This is your first night at Enrichment Club. Marley, what are you doing here at Enrichment Club, huh? Ah, chewing on one of them things, huh? A bagel? A bagel? Yeah. Yeah. The first rule of Enrichment Club is you don't talk about Enrichment Club. You think enrichment. The second rule of Enrichment Club is you don't talk about Enrichment Club. You think enrichment. The third rule is if a bird looks limp or looks bored, change things up, mix things up. Make things different. Spice it up. The fourth rule of Enrichment Club is two toys are not enough. The fifth rule of Enrichment Club is one issue at a time. The sixth rule of Enrichment Club is no Christmas ornaments or other boring toys. The seventh rule of Enrichment Club is changes will go on as long as they have to. The eighth rule of Enrichment Club is, if this is your first night at Enrichment Club, you have to fight parrot boredom. Uh -huh. Probably the best way we fight boredom around here for the whole group is taking them out into the aviary. Uh -huh. Uh, later on this week, that won't be possible, and we'll have to come up with some other ideas, because even though they say it never happens in Southern California, they're predicting rain. Now, the rain probably wouldn't bother them too much, but, you know, 55 degrees and wet weather is not my thing. But as a member in good standing of the Parrot Enrichment Club, I can tell you, I'm constantly working to try to make these guys not bored. Give them things to do so that their minds are engaged. They got some pretty strong consciousness in there, guys. And in some ways they're smarter than us, I'm sure. They certainly don't create war and they don't go around killing each other, so. What did you say, buddy? So when you're a member of Enrichment Club, there's a lot of things you can do. You know, you can, I mean, simple, simple things like even taking a coffee filter and putting a few treats they like inside the coffee filter and rolling it up. I mean, how complicated is that? It isn't always the complicated things that make them happy anyway, get them interested. It's like this Boeing right here. Once in a while, we get somebody playing with it. We just had, we just had Marley playing with it, you know, chewing on one of those bagels up there. But, you know, there's a, there's a rather complicated piece of equipment that rarely gets played with. But, little pieces of wood, you can see all the chewed up pieces of wood down there from playing earlier today. You take a piece of wood and turn it into toothpicks. That's one of their favorite little, uh, things to do here at Enrichment Club. Preening is another way they can enrich each other. Now, of course, that means you've got to have more than one bird or a human that's capable of preening without getting a bird to become made territorial. And cause is one that can be pretty quiet, so you have to get her attention and get her doing things, or she'll, she'll just kind of sit around and not get involved, so... With her, I like to get her over and play with me. You know, get her to step up when she will. Right now she won't. She just wants to sit there. She's been a tough one to get to play with toys, but she will play with a few foot toys now. 
Now, the manual for being in the Parrot Enrichment Club is the Parrot Enrichment and Activity Book. There's actually two versions. They're available online. Just search for Parrot Enrichment and Activity Book. Those are free. Download them. They'll give you a ton of ideas on how to keep these guys happy. Part of it. Hello, Lucy. Are you losing your mind? Now, there's an example of just a little too happy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you got mated to me, but you certainly did. It's not like I did anything other than I had to trim her beak a lot, and so did the vets. Uh, where she was, they just totally screwed up her beak, so... Didn't they? Didn't they? Yeah, and this one wouldn't play with toys either, so it's been fun trying to find things that she'll play with. But she likes to come out here, she hangs around... She does play with some toys now, mostly foot toys. Each one of them has different interests. Here is a little boy that likes to play with bells. Meow. Meow. That's right, Marley. You're the bell boy. That's our little bell boy. Buddy likes playing with bird kebabs. That's his favorite toy. Next after that would be finger traps. Of all things, likes to play with frisbees. He's our great frisbee player. Sugar likes palm fronds primarily, but she'll play with other things and finger traps. And she chews wood a little bit. Salamander. He likes foot toys. Yep. He likes uh, coconut foot toys. He plays with anything that's small that he can beat with his feet, which is, you know, he's a big bird, but he likes small toys. Bob likes the big toys I make with wood and other toys hooked into it. He also likes to play with <laughs> cinnamon sticks. He's our cinnamon stick boy. And Cecil? Cecil likes to tear the paper out from the bottom of the cage. That's one of his favorite things to do. But he likes the big toys I make too. He'll go through three a day. That's roughly a foot and a half of, of wood, so... Peaches is hiding under the chair, but she has a couple of things she likes. She likes finger traps to play with, but she also likes these little tennis shoes that you can buy, the little tiny tennis shoes. She likes to chew on those. Now this one, when I started giving him toys to play with, he wasn't interested except for the bells. But now he has found other things that he likes to play with, like finger traps and palm fronds. So if you learn anything from what we're talking about here, Parrot Enrichment Club, the one thing you should learn is to get a hold of those two books. The Parrot Enrichment and Activity Books, version one and version two, and start playing around. Every day, change something up, and be aware that sometimes it may take a while before they actually start playing with the things that you offer. Don't expect immediate interest okay it's not gonna happen normally I've seen it take as much as a year to get a bird interested in foot toys so just keep plugging and remember to support the Chloe sanctuary by going to patreon.com that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash Chloe sanctuary and becoming a member there Right, buddy? And uh, if you donate a dollar for each video, we do two videos a month that we charge for. The rest of them we generally put up for free. Some are only for members. So we hope you'll join up, become a member at patreon.com slash Chloe Sanctuary, and we'll see you next time. Science, knowledge, 
only adds to the excitement and mystery and the awe of a flower. Evidence is evidence. It's public. Everybody can look at the evidence and assess it and eventually, if there's enough evidence, come to the same conclusion. The Chloe Sanctuary for Parrots and Cockatoos, a non-profit charity dedicated to the empowerment of captive parrots and public awareness.